whether it be rushing to the control point, escaping with the intelligence, or hunting down a spy. Movement speed is critical to success in a game like TF2. On release, movement speeds of the various classes were static, but with the influx of unlockable weapons, the once rigid hierarchy of velocity has been destroyed. So, to make sure you arrive to battle on time and leave in one piece, I'm going to count down my top 10 favourite speed boost weapons. Number 10 Let's start this list with a crowd favourite, the Big Earner. It's a pretty simple speed boost weapon, get a backstab and be rewarded with a short speed boost. Why this weapon makes the cut and the Dead Ringer doesn't is just down to what you can do with the speed boost. While the Dead Ringer is an amazing escape mechanism and the speed boost is appreciated with it, the difference between the Ringer and the Big Earner is similar to the difference between Bonk Atomic Punch and an Uber Charge. You can really make things happen with the Big Earner. It's not only great for getaways, but for making a chain stab over a further distance than ever before, or even having enough speed to dodge rockets and spam while you fight with your revolver. While benefits on backstab can be awesome, the negatives of the Big Earner are just as severe. Luckily, the added resistance gun metal added to your cloak helps cancel them out. The Big Earner is a go big or go home weapon. Not only is it super fun to play with, but it stretches the limits of what's possible when playing Spy which is the main reason it makes this list. Number 9 The BFB holds the title for the fastest land-based movement speed boost in the game, but this weapon is not without its ups and downs. From patch to patch, this weapon has flopped from bad to ungodly powerful to bad again, but it just had to make this list based on the raw speed boost it can provide alone. The current downside where you lose boost on damage really nerfed this weapon hard, and it was for the best. Before the change, the BFB was basically a 4 shot scattergun with the added bonus of moving faster than ever should have been allowed. The fact that the slightest tick of damage, no matter how small slows you down, makes this weapon a huge liability to use. If you get hit by a little bit of minigun fire, tracked by a sentry, or set alight for even an instant, you become a sitting duck as you try to crawl away from any further sources of damage. Despite how much the BFB is now outshined by other SCARP primaries, the crazy amount of speed you can gain from the BFB is so awesome that it definitely overcomes any downsides with Awesome Vector alone and earns the number 9 spot on this list. Number 8 The Conqueror's area of effect speed boost is incredible. It's really nice for pulling together your teammates for a big push and keeping them alive with the lifesteal buff. It's also great for getting slower classes like heavies through choke points, and is a perfect example of a utility weapon. It's also really useful for yourself too. The increased movement speed means further rocket jumps, and a better ability to dodge spam from the enemy. The only reason this weapon isn't higher up on this list is because the speed boost is unreliable. It takes a lot of investment to obtain it, giving up your secondary weapon and dealing a fair bit of damage without dying to build up rage. But when you can get it, man does it pay off. This weapon definitely deserves this spot on the list. Number 7 If the Conqueror is inconsistent, the disciplinary action is the exact opposite, speed boost on demand, and this weapon is much more useful than you would think at a quick glance. With the longest melee reach in the game, and only a 25% damage penalty, it's an incredibly consistent melee weapon, allowing you to hit enemies that are well beyond your normal range. But we're here for the speed boost, and man, this speed boost is something really special. The coolest thing about the whip is how you can give speed boost to classes that don't usually have them. You can pair up with a slow class, or an engineer, or a sniper on rollout, and break timings by getting them to places faster than your enemy will expect. I guess the downside of this weapon is on rollouts you can't roll out normally. You'll still get wherever you're going pretty quickly due to the self speed boost, but nowhere near the speed of a regular gunboat's rollout. Despite this, the versatile and battle-ready disciplinary action makes this list because of its ability to consistently speed boost teammates, and it isn't half bad in a fight either. Number 6 The Power Jack. It's a universally loved weapon and a staple of most pyro loadouts. Sure, in some situations the back scratcher or the home wrecker might be better, but if you need to get somewhere quickly and murder a bunch of people, the Power Jack is the best option. Just whip out this monstrosity, and you're in for a free speed boost. Sure, there's a damage vulnerability while it's out, but that's only fair, and it barely matters, since you can switch away from it in an instant thanks to the degreaser. 
The supplemental health on kill is handy too, especially since you might take a little more damage than you planned if you go in for a kill with this weapon. What more is there to say? Solid, reliable, time tested. The power jet gives Pyro the speed he needs to keep up with the other classes and is a definite include on this list. Number 5 the quick fixes description is a mouthful, in fact it looks like it was designed just by putting a bunch of stats in a bucket and throwing it down a flight of stairs. Luckily for you, and me, we're only focusing on one of these attributes, the part where the medic moves at the speed of a faster heal target. Basically it means that medic can now move at the speed of a scout. Kind of a big deal. Sure, the medic doesn't have scout's key double jump, but simply being able to move at that speed just by healing a scout makes this metagun absolutely incredible. Not only is it the perfect scout pocket weapon, it also functions as the fastest way medic can get from spawn to the objective, and the way for medic to dodge everything the enemy throws his way. The medic was already a pretty fast class, he, just, he needed to be in order to catch up with his teammates but now he can outpace nearly all of them, which is insane for a class with such a powerful ability like Ubercharge. Medics moving at the speed of a scout? It makes the list. No arguments. Number 4 And stealing the number 4 spot are the Demonite weapons. Is including a group of weapons in this list considered cheating? Probably. Anyway, the speed boost Demonite's weapons provide all branch off from the incredible charge mechanic, where you can rush towards your enemies at a rate faster than anything else in the game. Demo's various melee and footwear items support this, with things like the Persian Persuader allowing you to charge more often, the booties giving a base movement speed increase, booties and the tide turning giving you charge meter on melee kills, and there's the claymore's increased charge time, the islander speed boost, there are so many different effects that I didn't want to clog up this list with them. There's something terrifying about the sight and sound of the charging demo knight because you know at that moment, a 195 damage crit is coming your way, and faster than you could ever hope to avoid. It's the versatility and raw speed that earns the Demonite weapons the top 4 spot on this list. Number 3 I've said it before and I'll say it again, the Criticola is crazy. Mini crits aside, which is a pretty enormous factor to put aside, the movement speed bonus is really incredible, allowing a scout to not only break timings on rollout, but to get out of ridiculous situations. It's so bizarre, for the same 10% damage vulnerability as Pyro, scout gets a 25% speed boost on top of his already high speed, while the Pyro only gets a 10% boost with the power jack. Of course, losing your pistol hurts, but the extra speed gives you an ability to just retreat and reload your scattergun, and it's not like you're losing out on overall damage, since your mini crits will blow whatever damage your pistol might have dealt right out of the water. This speed and damage on demand beverage easily makes this list, at least until it's inevitable nerf. Number 2 the escape plan can make the soldier move at pretty much the same speed as Scout. It's an incredibly reliable weapon that's great for rollouts and escapes, obviously, and it is an obvious must include on this list. Yeah, that's uh, all I have to say about it, sorry. It's a good weapon. I don't know. And my number one speed boost weapon is... It's the gloves are running urgently, and by extension, the incredible reskin, the bread bite. Now, this weapon is really, really good. Heavy's main weakness, other than his short range, large hitbox, vulnerability while deployed, to name a few, is his slow movement speed. This made him almost unusable on maps with long travel times. The Gru allowed Heavy to become incredible on maps that he was nearly useless on before, and combined with the disciplinary action, he can get to the objective in record time, as opposed to lagging behind everyone else. Of course, this downside means that Heavy is more susceptible to ambushes, although he was so weak to them anyway that it barely matters. The gloves might not make for the flashiest of highlights, but their passive ability to get Heavy to the battlefield faster than ever before is invaluable. It's perhaps the most influential weapon the Heavy has gotten to date. A weapon that can make a class go from useless to incredible definitely deserves the number one spot on this list. And there we have it, as always. Leave your feedback and comments down in the comment section. Uh, sorry for the long wait between videos, mostly just due to unavoidable family stuff I had to deal with. That's all I got for you right now, I'll catch you guys next time.